Dr. John Henrik Clark was born New Year's Day, 1915, in Union Springs, Alabama. His father, John Clark, was a sharecropper, and his mother, Willie Ella Mays Clark, was a domestic worker. At a young age, he and his family moved to Columbus, Georgia. Here, he attended school. Even though Clark's intellectual capabilities were seen by his teachers, he dropped out of school in eighth grade to help support his family. In 1933, Clark moved to Harlem, New York during the Great Migration. In doing so, he placed himself in the middle of one of the most influential cultural movements led by African Americans in the 20th century, the Harlem Renaissance. Clark participated heavily in the literary and history clubs of the Harlem Renaissance. He held the company of individuals such as Langston Hughes, Richard Wright, Kwame Nkrumah, and Arthur Schumburg, who would later become his mentor. Clark would later accredit Schumburg with providing him with a strong foundation for his studies in African history. During the first half of the 1940s, he served as a master sergeant in the United States Army Air Force during World War II. Upon returning to Harlem after the war, Clark continued educating himself using public libraries and secondhand bookstores. He then began teaching African and African American history throughout the community. He also continued his work writing within Harlem. Clark co-founded the Harlem Quarterly. He was an editor of the Negro History Bulletin, associate editor of the magazine Freedom Ways, and he often wrote for the Black-owned Pittsburgh Courier. Clark taught at the New School for Social Research from 1956 to 1958. Between the years of 1958 and 1959, Clark traveled to West Africa and reconnected with Kwame Nkrumah, whom he had mentored as a student in the United States. He was offered a job working as a journalist for the Ghana Evening News. He also lectured at the University of Ghana in Nigeria, at the University of Ibudan, and throughout Africa. When he returned, Clark had gained a teacher certification from the People's College in Malvern, New York. During the 1960s, Clark was a key figure behind the scenes in the Black Power Movement and the Civil Rights Movement. He himself served as the director of the African Heritage Program at the Harlem Youth Opportunities Unlimited and as a special consultant and coordinator of the Columbia University WCBS's television series, Black Heritage. He also taught Black Puerto Rican studies at Hunter College from 1969 to 1985. While there, he challenged the general Eurocentric viewpoint of history. Using his knowledge, he revolutionized the curriculum and introduced Africana studies at Hunter College, and it was later implemented into accredited collegiate institutions throughout America. Furthermore, Clark was named as the Carter G. Woodson Distinguished Visiting Professor of African History at the Cornell University's Africana Studies and Research Center. He was also a founding member of several black organizations, including the Black Academy of Arts and Letters, the African Heritage Studies Association, and the African American Scholars Council. In 1985, faculty of the Africana Studies and Research Center at Cornell University named a newly constructed library after John Henry Clark. During the 1990s, Clark earned his doctorate degree from the Pacific Western University. He, along with individuals such as Dr. Chancellor Williams, Dr. Sheikh Anti Diop, and Dr. Ben Yakanen, became leading scholars of black history within academia. Dr. John Henry Clark is recognized worldwide as a major authority on African and African American history and culture. Using education, he liberated not only the minds of numerous people of the African diaspora, but people from all walks of life as well. One of his most famous and proven quotes is, history tells of people where they have been, what they have been, where they are, and what they are. Most importantly, history tells people where they still must go and what they still must be, end quote. 
Dr. John Henry Clark was an American writer, historian, professor, and a pioneer in the creation of Africana studies. And his legacy and knowledge continues to empower the minds of millions. <laughs>